Beds on Board connects guests and owners for amazing stays on boats. Amazing stays on luxury motor yachts, cozy barges, huge houseboats, and classic yachts. We bring the boating lifestyle to everyone, often for less than a hotel room. We have decades of business, technology, and boat experience between us. Jason is a RYA yacht master and a former RNLI crew member, and I've delivered technical projects for some of the world's biggest brands, and was formerly a production director at Google. We've been around boats all our lives, but when we found out the boats were empty over 90% of the time, we saw a problem that we had to solve. There are over 8 million suitable boats worldwide. And with that 90% vacancy rate, we saw an opportunity, a 2 billion night opportunity that we can unlock through the power of the sharing economy. And accommodation from the sharing economy alone is worth 34 billion pounds a year. So we decided to bring these two together to connect guests and owners for amazing stays on boats. So where are you so far? We've built the fully transactional platform that powers our business. It's our software, it's built on world-class technology, and it's built to scale. It's peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning guests and, and owners, all our customers can onboard themselves. Owners list their boat, set their pricing, communicate with guests. Those guests can search for boats, view the boat detail, talk to the owner, and of course, pay for the booking. There's no interaction needed from us for the platform to generate revenue, which it does so on a 15% commission model. As well as the platform, we've built a community of tens of thousands of members. We have boats in over 80 countries, and we've successfully completed thousands of amazing nights. And we've doubled our growth year on year. To help us do this, we've secured some strategic partnerships. So we're members of British Marine, and we work closely with the marine industry. In fact, talking at the last two World Marina conferences, where Beds on Board has become synonymous with the idea of boat accommodation, but also of bringing new customers into the boating industry. We've solved the insurance question, working with industry partners to make sure our members have the correct cover. But the most exciting part of this partnership piece is our relationships with marinas. We have a three-tier partnership program that starts with acceptance, moves through co-marketing, and ends in our tier one, currently exclusive partnership with the UK's largest marina group, MDL Marinas. This agreement sees MDL offering a fully managed services to guests and owners, which helps us deliver on our vision of amazing stays, but more importantly, it gives us our key competitive advantage. This agreement locks out our competitors from operating in key strategic locations. And we've got to know our customers really well. Engaged owners are offsetting the cost of ownership, staying as boat owners, getting to meet guests. Those guests are loving being on board, enjoying the boating lifestyle, and they're writing great reviews. These reviews build trust on the platform, but they also give us an insight into the types of people that like to book through bids on board. Analyzing this recently, we found out that families were one of our largest segments. And this makes perfect sense. Beds on board is great for families. Mum and dad can sit on deck having a sundowner, knowing the kids are tucked in safely below. They don't have to book two hotel rooms. There's no divide and conquer. So as well as being more fun, it's actually more affordable for families through beds on board. We identified three other groups that we'll be targeting in the coming year. This was couples celebrating, millennial weekenders, and what we call boaty types. Of course, all these customers have other options when it comes to booking accommodation, but our strength is in our focus. We're just peer-to-peer, -peer, we're just boats, and we're just accommodation. And it's not just our customers that love the idea. We've had great coverage from the BBC, Huffington Post, the FT, and the Telegraph, who all love the concept. But in 2019, we'll take Beds on Board from a great idea to a genuine travel proposition for friends, family, anyone looking for another way to stay. So that's where we are. 2019 is all about proving scale. We'll do this through a simple strategy. 
we'll accelerate our growth by building inventory and driving bookings. Our key growth tactic for 2019 is our marina partnership model. Marinas, no boat owners, they're their customer, they have their trust. They also know that Beds on Board can bring in new customers who spend money on bars, restaurants, shops and services within the marina. And they know Beds on Board can help berth holders stay as berth holders, helping their customer retention. We already see that a good marina can generate over £50,000 of income per year through the Beds on Board platform for the boat owners. And these agreements lock out the competition, meaning only Beds on Board can operate in their marinas. So it's happy guests, happy owners, it's income for marinas, and it's exclusivity for Beds on Board. In 2019, we'll roll this partnership model out to key strategic locations. And when we look at the model in detail, we can see that 30 partner marinas, converting at a conservative 5% of all boats in the marina, can generate 500 listed, highly optimized boats for the platform. And these can generate 5,000 nights. That's from 30 marinas. Bear in mind, there are over 10,000 marinas in Europe alone. Beds on Board is a scalable, high growth opportunity. We've proven the concept. We have support from the marine industry. We have partnerships that lock out our competition. And we have a model for growth. So it's time to scale and realize the potential. Now we're going to check out a short film to see what it's like to stay on a boat. Thank you, Tim. Great Pleasure. page. Uh, Grant, have you got any questions? Yeah, fantastic. Um, very inspiring. Thank so, um, who, is, who is the competition? Well, when we talk about being locked out, we're fundamentally talking about other sharing economy platforms. Um, the biggest ones being Airbnb and Booking.com. They're the people that we generally compete, about, compete with most days, whether it's owners listing or guest booking. So we do have a competitive advantage on some locations at the moment. Okay. And in terms of the pricing of the accommodation, obviously it's up to the owners to price that. It is. What, um, what, it is, what you've experienced so far, what have been the range of prices of accommodation? Jason? Yeah, I mean, our average price per night is £180, and average stay is just under two nights, so similar to the hotel industry. Uh, but those prices, the boats do vary from sort of sub £50 to the thousands. And how many boats have you currently got on the platform? There's 1,700 live at the moment, um, and our total inventory is about two and a half, three thousand. 3,000. And that's in how many geographies? <laughs> Officially, 80 countries, oh, okay, um, right. but uh, that's right. quite a long tail on a lot of those countries. Our hotspots are obviously UK and into the, the more popular places in the Mediterranean, so Spain, Italy, Portugal, and France. Okay. And in terms of the fundraising you're doing at the moment, 350,000, um, is on a pre-money valuation of how much? 
3.5, okay. And you're looking to get to eight and a half of EBIT by 2023? Correct, yeah. Okay. Yep. What's, what's the great aspiration for you guys with the business what, in terms of whether you uh, exiting or? Well, I think for us is to build a world-class accommodation platform that is a you know, genuine proposition for people and tourists that are looking for somewhere to stay. Um, but obviously, to do that, we need to build a great business. We need to build a profitable business. Uh, what the future looks like for us uh, over the next five years with the potentials with mergers, acquisitions, joint ventures, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll explore them all as we go. But building a good, solid, sound business is okay. the goal. And, and tell, tell us a little about the rest of the team that you have alongside you. Okay, so we have uh, two people in customer services, the two Sarahs, um, it's very handy, they're both called Sarah, uh, some office admin, uh, and then we do outsource uh, a lot of the work. Um, Tim, talk to you about the... Yeah, the development team is uh, a team based in Manchester, uh, which I manage directly, so that, that works really well efficiently. That's sort of leaning on my experience from Google and, and other jobs. Uh, and marketing, we generally outsource as well. Um, uh, I lead that, but it's... Uh, it's been generally Jason and I and, uh, and two or three others in, mm. in the office in Livington. So it's a very lean team to date. And, and you guys are, sorry, you guys sorry. are brothers. How yeah. do you find working together? Well, it has its moments. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we always, we, we laugh about it. Um, we fall out quickly, but we make up even quicker. And we're very different in the way we work, um, sort of yin and yang, and that, that really does help us. So we, I think with our difference of opinion and approach and area of expertise, I'm very much marine and boats and hospitality and Tim is very much marketing and tech when we're actually trying to decide on a new strategy or an idea but the two sides sort of against each other we come up with uh, the right one somewhere in the middle so it's it's interesting so it's a help not a hindrance I, 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 yeah I think so. more of a help than a hindrance. most of the time yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you a non-sailor or a sailor um, well, I did go sailing a boat actually, but uh, not very good. There's like, the the bow that can really like not boom, 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 yeah, the boom, uh, yeah. The boom, boom, for yeah. A reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I like staying on boats. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, ours don't move. Yeah, yeah great. Good. Yeah, I mean that's the beauty. It's a whole new market yeah. because you don't need to know how to sail or pay a lot of money for a captain. It's mm. it's simple. You know, you speak to a lot of boat owners, and probably some of their best times are actually when they're tied up in the marina enjoying a food and some, and, and some drink and sitting back and relaxing. And I think we've all been there in the marina looking at the boat, wishing yeah. you were on board. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. yeah. yeah. that's what Bedsable's about. And you don't have to worry too much about the crew as well, I suppose. Well, no no crew. crew, no crew, yeah. just yeah. you and your family, have you take? The, the owner will typically show you how the boat works and mm. do a handover so you're comfortable on it. And obviously now working with the marinas, they're always there. If you do have any questions or something, then you can, you can go and ask them. But, you know, boats are very similar to apartments now, especially the modern ones. So. To, just in terms of the platform, um, uh, the user experience, I presume, is somewhat similar to an Airbnb or yep. any, any kind of uh, bells and whistles you can share with us? That it's, I mean, it, it, it's simple in that, um, as you say, that there's a, a protocol for travel sites now. So you search, you book, you communicate securely. Um, we don't uh, give away contact details until you become a member. So it is very similar user experience to, to Airbnb. Um, and we're obviously constantly iterating that to try and improve it for owners. Um, so there's a very different process for when you're a boat owner to step you through the listing process. Uh, we help with that. We're always on board in terms of onboarding people, mm -hmm. but we also automate that through marketing automation as well. So it's, it should be a very simple process. And in terms of where, where you have relationships with marinas, if uh, wh what's the financial relationship between the marina, the boat owner, and obviously you've mentioned that you take the 15%. Yeah. So. Um, Different marinas want different things. Um, MDL have, uh, have monetized the service, so they take a small percentage of every booking that comes through, which we facilitate on our platform. Great, thank you so much. Tim, Jason, that's all we've got time for. Pleasure. If thank you'd you like to much. find out more about Beds on Board, you can do so on Cedars' website, which is cedars.com. <laughs>